fucking two. All right, you guys aren't doing too. Doing, you're just doing normal chat stuff. That's fine. That's cool. That's what I want chat to do. Anyways, this scrub, this piece of trash, Luna Boy, is in chat. I know he is. You in chat? Say something, Luna Boy. I know you're there. There. I can hear you breathing. But Luna Boy's in chat. He is going to be playing May on King's Row. He is at 13.21, and it's a loss. Now, as everyone knows, I have a, I have a May Smurf. Oh, he has, he has the good skin. All right, he's playing with Change. Oh, no. This isn't Change. This is the one. This is the red one. This is the skin I hate. Ugh. Let's see what he does. I remember it's a bronze game. The trap is right next to you. So that was a good wall. Your team didn't take advantage of it. Oh, Hanzo! But no, good wall on the. F First of all, good wall. You got the junk rat killed. Move on. I have to get back in the fight. The objective is mine. Now show them. All systems checked out. Converge to your top left. He's still up there. You should probably shoot at him. So far, so good. I like the idea. Bad execution, but hey, I like it. Uh, this isn't Changa's skin. Changa is the, the very beautiful pink skin. Okay. Oh, I love how there's like four people trying to shoot her. Junk rights to your left. So that's first of all... Okay. Understand how to interpret information at a low SR. And this is why my biggest uh, thing for low SR people is just to play. Uh, that's fine. I don't mind that wall. Okay. Uh, it sounds stupid, but you need to ice cube around 100 health most of the time. Uh, I try to, uh, for, because I'm a, I got a base smurf, and I tried to min-max ice cube way too much, and I'm just like, you know what? You get, you die half the fucking time you're trying to use it perfectly. Just use it. Also, I like how you're putting damage on the shield. May doesn't seem like the biggest damage on the shield, but it does help. Yeah, Change is, um... Uh, she's the moon goddess. Uh, you can ice cube right here. Or grab the health. One of the two. Uh, this is this is a great place to wall. Right there, right right now. Oh, right now. No, okay, it's gone. There you go. Perfect. And thanks, Isaiah. 
Give her Gaia for the subscription. There you go. Okay. Now remember, this is something you gotta remember. May's primary stacks with her ultimate. So if you shoot a person a couple times, they're gonna freeze a lot faster. Hmm. Right in the face. And Progressive wants me to let you know he thinks you should use your wall more. That is true. But remember, this is a 1300 bronze level game. I'm looking at gross, just like, not gross, like, ew, but like, large mechanical skills or large mechan- like, large issues. Oh, oh, running into that. A little bit of an issue. You could heal from it, though. But you don't get that much overcharge, or ultimate charge, for healing yourself. It's a little bit disappointing as me. Okay. I like that wall. This is council? Um, no. Left shift is ice cube. He is wall. Alright, I like that. I like it. Good idea. A little bit too slow, though. Um, I like how you're focusing on your mouse too, for your secondary attack. So... As I play May more and more, um, it's all about her right clicks. You should be using your primary fire, like, 5% of the time. Uh, it's kind of depressing because like her primary fire seems really cool. But um... You just have to get really good at your right clicks. Also, she's not as tanky as anyone thinks she is. They call her an off tank, I think that's bullshit. Wow. That Reinhardt really wants to kill that D.Va. This is a good time to use wall. So remember, wall has a 10 second cooldown, but it lasts for 5 seconds. So this is a good time to wall. Yeah, definitely wall more. Um, I think you're attacking with your secondary enough. Like, that's, that's great. You're not even attacking much with your right. Or your primary. Uh, don't be in front of combat as much as you think.
Ah, oh, there it goes. There, mercy ruins the fun. Uh, more cowbell? Did I tell you that? Switching sides. It, it may have been what type of um, situation you were in, but I'd have to look at your review again. Maybe I did change my mind. That happens. It's uh, it's quite proper in this life to a uh, to change your, your your opinion based on you know facts. Five, four, three, By the way, you just showed your books. One. You are studying for Overwatch. Did you ever read the Book of the Five Rings? No, I have not. Now wall. You're a little bit off, but yeah, that was that was a really good idea. So May comes down to you have to wall off the team in some way that makes them like more easily consumable for your team. The truth is May doesn't do a, a, a lot of damage. So what you have to do is you have to be the valve. You have to let in as much hit points that you think your team can take in at a certain time. Like, okay, I think your team can kill Lucio. Eh, sometimes you're wrong, but hey. But that that's the idea. Like, you let in one character, two character, depends how greedy you are, three or four. Split them how you see fit, and then kill part of them. It was under Bill de Grey, but yeah, I know opinions change, but you're not you playing more Smurf. Right, any any advice useful? Yeah, the more and more I play with her, it's all about the right clicks. It's it's depressing. Uh, I really enjoy May as a character, and I like her primary, and I like the how it's oh, it's kind of cool. You can put anyone on a timer, but the problem is, is that the better people are, that timers they're gonna beat you. Like if you have to. If you have to freeze McCree by the time he kills you, the truth is a good player is going to like flat out kill you. Uh, by the time you freeze him, he's going to double headshot you and you're dead. There you go. Perfect. Good job. Ice cube. There you go. That'll get your alt. Don't use it though. That sucks. Uh, the problem is, is with Maze Alt, you need huge follow up. Wall is more friendly than our team. Possibly getting wiped. Yeah, like you do. Maze Wall is, I think, easily the most hit and miss skill in the game because you're like, well, I just fucked my team. Or, oh my god, did you see that wall? I saved my team and it was awesome. Uh, yeah. Like, even walling right there, be prepared to wall. Actually, like, walling off the back line right now. Yeah, yeah, start right-clicking. Yep. Oh, yeah, see, whenever you're low, you got an ice cube almost immediately. Like I said, at 100 hit points or below, just use it. Uh, the problem is, is what happens a lot of the time is, like, you'll find yourself in the middle of six people ice blocking, and you're just delaying your own death. See, putting up a wall right there could be good. You had a clear shot of the junk right too. Oh, <laughs> she died to his passive. See, the nice thing about what you're doing here is that you're forcing the Reinhardt to keep his, or you were forcing him to keep his shield up, which allowed the other Reinhardt just to hit him with the hammer. Oof. That's it. That's game.
That was quick. I grind the other day and got walled off with the enemies by my own team's May. It was a great experience. Yeah, that's how that's how Mays usually run. It's like hot. It's just hit or miss. So remember, um, and you weren't even doing it this game, but you weren't using your mouse one as much, and that's good. So uh, right click more. I'm not saying new more, but. May is very, very right-click dominant. Uh, positioning was all right. Here's the thing. May, I think she has... I don't know the numbers on May just yet, but it is farther than you think for fall-off, but her fall-off drops quickly. Um, I think her fall-off is like 15 or 25 meters, but her damage just drops like a fucking rock. Uh, she does do 75 and 150 on a crit. So you can one-shot tracers. Really fucking useful. Um, positioning, I think you're too far forward. Personally. More or less, May is a support. Your job is, as an enemy, if there's an enemy team... You have to see fit... How you want to divide them up and you divide them up this way and you take a 3v6 can you shove this guy into a corner like very easily and that's like the merc or some you know dps character that they need right is your team attacking from this way and if you just cut off these two guys can you get something done or do you not feel that good and you just want to wall off one guy like you have to learn how to see combat and chop it up and divide it as you see fit um that's kind of the purpose of May's wall. Uh, as for her damage, it's it's usually right-clicking, right-clicking, right-clicking. Uh, she is... It's funny playing her, and then... She really is um, an accuracy-dependent hero. Like, as much as McCree. As crazy as it says... As it sounds... Um... Why I say she's like a McCree is because, like, short range, you have an ability for it. And that ability usually it just is less mechanically skilled. Like, flashbang headshot, you don't really have to be that good to do. Same thing with May, like, freezing someone and headshotting them, they don't have to be that good to do. But most of the time, you don't want to be doing that. You want to be doing medium to long range stuff and just constantly putting out the damage. And I don't even mean long range with May. Canadota says May's fall off range is 26 to 55 meters. 22 to 75 damage per shot. And that's huge. For those that don't know, most damage in Overwatch is 50% fall off. Meaning after their specific range, it takes a specific range again, and they usually do 50% damage. So like McCree does, I think at minimum 35, but at max 70. Uh, Maze goes from 75 to 22. Uh, so her damage falls off greatly. Oh, yeah, I know it's instant stun versus the gradual stun, but I'm just saying, like, stunning someone and headshotting them isn't mechanically inclined, but long-range headshots are mechanically inclined. And that's what I mean by May. May, at, at the surface level, seems like um, a low mechanically skill hero to play, but actually it's one of the more intense ones. Uh, so don't make that mistake. Don't, don't play May and you're like, this is going to be an easy character, it doesn't require much. Um... It, she, she's she's more difficult than you think at the same time the enemies uh, if you start getting doing damage they have no idea where the fuck it's coming from everyone expects may not to deal that much damage and if you start hitting landing headshots people are like why why are we dying so much um it's it's very um she's a very secret stealthy character um her effects aren't really felt except for like wall which is like dramatically felt because it's like a very big you can see it like it's it's dividing your team you know if it killed you and if if you don't, you know, you understand that. Um, and yes, so I wouldn't play her too far forward because as as I know everyone says she's an off-tank, she is not an off-tank. Uh, if she had like 300 health and 50 armor, I'd say yes, but she doesn't. She has 250 health. It's You're squishier than you think. Uh, and because of that, your skill usage, uh, ice cube more. Ice more. 
Uh, use it. I think you get about 10% alt for a full heal. So use it for building alt charge and also use it for that. Try not to use it like when everyone else is dead and you're just delaying your own death by like six seconds. Um, you may like you can use it to gain your 10% alt, but then get out of cube and just die. Uh, as for the wall, Walmore. And divide them up like we talked about. This way, this way, that way, this way, whatever ways, up ways, sideways, down ways. Uh, kind of like Willy Wonka elevator style. Uh, whatever ways you want. Increased damage goes down to 20, does it? No shit. Can't argue with the pros. Yeah, you can. The pros are actually wrong a lot of the time. Um, no, May is not really a good off tank. She can take 50%, 50 health more damage than the other characters. Um, but the whole thing with the tank is they can take damage while getting healed and they can survive through most bursts. Uh, the problem is, is that May doesn't have a shield and May has 250 hit points. So like she's weak to a lot of burst damage. So in terms of wall, use it more often regardless of actual impact, as long as the intention is there before you do it. Yes, but, you know, it's best if you actually do it. Better radiation than soldier, but not like a tank. That's an off tank, right? No, that, no, you... You can't call someone that doesn't tank an off tank. That's like calling Reaper an off tank. Right? Or Bastion is an off tank. Right? The problem with tanks is that... Alright. So we've talked about this before. Define a tank. Everyone goes, someone that can absorb damage. Wrong. That is wrong. That is not what a tank is. A tank is a character that holds ground for a duration of time. Usually a long duration of time. Uh, there is no such thing as an off tank. There's primary, there's secondary, and then there's people that die. So if a pro thinks there's an off tank, they're fucking wrong. There's no such thing. Either you're like, you got the big shield and you can keep a lot of damage off, you have a less viable shield, but you can take some damage off, and then there's just like, no, there's just nothing after that. Um, the other thing is, is May cannot hold space for long periods of time. In fact, she's pretty bad at holding space. Uh, she can divide up combat for five seconds, but it doesn't really hold space. It just kind of like keeps it there. I don't know. It, it's it's not that she doesn't do anything a tank normally does. Um, yeah, she doesn't hold ground for for long periods of time. She doesn't do damage mitigation. She doesn't. The best you could say is that she can. You can wall forward. You can act like a Winston, where you can wall far away, and you can allow your team to get closer to combat, and the wall falls down. But your team has to move there in that five seconds. Off tank, she does a little bit of it temporarily. That is the stupidest fucking thing I've ever heard. Every character does a little bit of tanking temporarily. Right? Junkrat does tanking. He does 200 damage of tanking. Right? Then he dies. What is Soldier? And McCree? How about Soldier? Is Soldier an off tank? He has self heal. Right? Bastion? Is he an off tank? He, he has self heal. So does Reaper. Um. No. Either you provide a huge source of tankiness, you provide a huge source of tankiness at intervals, that's a secondary, but you're not a tank. 
You mean in the space tanking, taking sense of take tanking? Fuck. Um, May doesn't really take space. She just doesn't. The problem is, is her primary fire is only good against most tanks. Uh, against a skilled DPSer, you're you're not going to free someone in the time that it takes for them to kill you. Uh, if you can get the jump on them, great. Then then it works. Uh, she's good for if she's coming into a fight late, like as a, as a as a knife in the back. Uh, if someone's busy, then you can freeze them. That's perfect. But uh, she doesn't hold space very well. Uh, and I know people want to say her five second wall, but the the wall can be destroyed. The wall can be go up and over. Uh, the wall is severely map dependent, and even most maps have secondary routes for it to go around. Uh, she doesn't do anything like a tank. And Roadhog is considered a tank because he he controls space through fear. May there's nothing to be afraid of with May. Uh, they can punch her. They can, they can kill her. Right. If if you're gonna fight a Roadhog, one put her hope he misses his hook or you're dead. Right. Even without the one-shot ability, he's still going to take a chunk out of your health, and if not, set you up for someone else to just touch you to, for you to die. Uh, two, you got to get through 600 of his hit points. Uh, it, he, Roadhog's a tank. He controls space through fear. He's the extreme version of tank. Tank is all about controlling space, and now you can control space through damage mitigation. This is the confusion. So, Reinhardt Orisa. Very, very high on this side of the scale of damage mitigation, right? That's how they control space. And as you go less and less through damage mitigation, you run up to get Zarya. All right, she does more damage, less damage mitigation. And then it's like Winston, he does cleaving damage. He has high mobility, but his bubble, 13 second cooldown, 12 second cooldown, uh, 600 health, not that good. And then, so then you're like Diva. All right, she only has like four seconds of tankiness. But it's because she's flying around her absoluteness of the tank. Like, she absorbs everything. And then she does a fair amount of damage when close up. And then you got Hog. Hog is like, all right, how does he tank? He literally just takes shots for his friends. How does he hold space? Through fucking fear. If you're in open space and you're not behind a shield, he's going to grab you, you're dead. Right? Against a good team, if a Rodog hooks you, they're going to shoot you right away and you're dead. Uh, he controls space through fear, which is really good. Because if you think about his character... If you think about lore, and that's the thing, like, a character should be designed by how they play. What is Roadhog's lore? He's just some badass mercenary that fucking kills people. He's a biker, right? Like, it's all about bikers want fear, and they want respect, either through fear or, like, you respect them as a human being. They, they're they going to get their respect one way or another. Uh, That's what Roadhog is. Like, there's a hook. He's going to kill you if you do not respect them. And then you take a May. Like, okay, she can make a wall. Five seconds. God, I hope you don't get through that wall. Oh, I hope that choke point isn't, you know, large enough that you can just walk around it. Don't worry, I can take a Widow shot. Oh, I can't. I can take a Hanzo. Oh, I can't take a Hanzo shot. What about, uh, could you get two shot? You could get two shot by McCree. Could you? No, you die. She can get three shot by McCree and live, but, I mean, barely. Barely, barely, barely. Uh, she doesn't hold space. She doesn't hold space. It's not what she does. I'm not even talking about scatter. Like, well, I guess what is Hanzo's? Hanzo's a uh, times two damage, right? He does 125, so it'd be times two for a headshot. One two fifty. Yeah, he, he May would die to a, a single headshot. Uh. May's not a tank. If anyone thinks of that, then you're, I think you're playing her incorrectly, and there's a reason why there's no May's, like, above 3,500. There's a reason why my May 